Hello and welcome to the show. On the program tonight, pieces of outer space. The Buzzard Cooley meteorite landing was two years ago this week. We have a look back on this out of world incident. And most people celebrate Christmas with gifts and turkey, but some are not that fortunate. Newcap teams up with the Salvation Army for the 30th year to provide Christmas festivities for families in need. But first, the new Lloydminster City Manager takes the chair right now on Around the Region. The people of Lone Rock, Saskatchewan remember this day. The two-year anniversary commemoration of the Buzzard Cooley meteorite landing is coming up. Welcome to the show. With me in studio right now is Mr. Glenn Carroll. He is the new uh, City Manager and Chief Administrative Officer for the City of Lloydminster. Thank you so much for coming in. Well, thanks for having me, Wendy. <laughs> so you started on December the 8th. That's correct. You haven't quite gotten there yet. Um, you just went through a very extensive uh, interview process, though. Talk a little bit about that and, and just the thoroughness of it, really. Uh, it, and it's good that it was yeah. so thorough. Uh, it started back in August, actually, mm -hmm. and the, the closing date uh, was the end of August. And uh, they had asked a case study or they prepared a case study and we had to present uh, to mayor and council on the case study and the dynamics of the city and, and, and various other things that uh, as a CAO you would do to to help the city along and achieve its yep. its goals uh, followed by an interview process followed by a Berkman uh, personality profile and some background checks so it, it was quite extensive now you have a background um, with employment and immigration in, with the government of Alberta. That's correct. How do you think that's going to help you and, and, and what do you think made you make the switch from provincial to municipal? Well, I, the big switch was, uh, I, I love Lloydminster, we've, mm -hmm. my family and I, we've been here for uh, over 17 years now. Uh -huh. So uh, that's the one thing, uh, municipal uh, government keeps me entrenched in the city. Right. Um, I worked in a leadership role with uh, the Alberta government, and this is another leadership role. So, you know, quite different dynamics. Uh, my, my team uh, in the province are spread out throughout the province. Now they'll be right here in, in my own backyard. So uh, lots of practice. Do you think that's going to help, having yeah. your team sort of more close? knit than, uh, than maybe the government team? Well, I think so. I mean, communications today with, uh, with Blackberries and, and right. laptops and everything, I, I mean, you're, you're close at hand no matter where you are pretty much in the world. But to have that FaceTime uh, with your team is just, uh, that's so important. Now, this position has been vacant um, for a few months now. I think Roger Becco resigned uh, in May probably of this year. Correct. Do you have a lot of catching up to do? Uh, I think there's some catching up, but there's been some change and dynamic change that's happened down there uh, mm -hmm. at the city over the last few months as well. And uh, with uh, Mayor Mulligan and his team at council, they've, uh, they've done a tremendous job in, in moving the city forward. And I think I'm coming into to such a great team. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Mayor Mulligan, fairly new to the city, and obviously you're very involved in city politics. Uh, are you behind what he's doing? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's 100%. I, I think it's uh, being in communication, not just with uh, the people internal at the city, but with external, with the, the residents of the city. And, and having that clear, transparent communication so important yep. to, to lead a city. The press release here says, Glenn is an executive offer schooled and proven in leadership and team building. What do you think that's going to bring to the city? Well, I think huge. I think, uh, you know, in, in this day and age, everything is based upon team and decisions. Mm -hmm. It's tough for one person to make a lot of decisions. And I think that collaborative effort and, and having the right people around you, doing the right thing. I, I don't think that, you know, you expect one person to be an expert in everything. Right. I think it's everybody brings their strengths to the table and you call upon all those strengths to make some solid decisions. Now we were talking about, you know, Roger Becco had, had left this position. Tom Lysak has also left his position. Yep. That's, you know, 60 plus years uh, combined of experience to the city. What do you think that is going to bring to this dynamic? I mean, there's a lot of new blood in, in council. Yeah, and that's a huge loss to the city. I mean, those two gentlemen have been uh, been centerpieces of mm -hmm. the city for a lot of years, and it's going to be really tough to replace them. However, there's still other people that are at the city that have been there for a while. Uh, we have people like Don Newland and, and Beth Kimball and, and Sheila Gerard that are there, um, Brent Stasiak. Mm -hmm. These people have been around for a long time and, and they know the dynamics of the city and what, and what needs to get done to, to be successful. Excellent. We're going to talk about more the, of the success of Lloydminster in just one minute.
Welcome back. If you're just joining us now, we're just in the middle of our conversation with Glenn Carroll. He's the new uh, city manager and chief administrative officer for the city of Lloydminster. We're just talking about maybe the future of the city. What are some uh, some future you know, visions that you have for the city of Lloydminster? Well, I, I think it, it all starts internal. It starts with, with the people inside. Uh, making Lloydminster the place people want to come to, first mm -hmm. of all, not just a visit and not just to play, as it says <laughs> in a lot of the taglines, but, but actually move here. And, and we have a lot to offer people, uh, growth within the city, um, and internal and external, growth with people wanting to come work for the city of Lloydminster as well. Make it a great place to work uh, where people want to, uh, to be from all over the country. And is this more of a, a city-backed thing too? I mean, like, you, you know, your background is in employment and immigration. Are, are we just trying to recruit more people here? I, no, I, I think that's just one small step. I, okay. th I, I think the growth of the city, not just in people, but uh, you know, in infrastructure, facilities, um, and, and just the overall atmosphere within the city. I mean, Lloydminster is a great place to start with. You know, we can't mm -hmm. be wrong with that. But just to grow it and, and keep growing upon it, we don't want to stay stagnant. We want to just make it a great place uh, for generations to come. Now, in uh, when you first got, got this position and, and the press release came out, um, you said that you were looking forward to working with a team of dedicated professionals in developing the vision and culture of the city of Lloydminster. What is, uh, what is going to be the vision and culture of the city of Lloydminster? Well, that's something yet to be determined, but mm -hmm. I think, I, you know, just from my, my talks with uh, Mayor and Council and, and some of the internal management team, uh, structure right now. Certainly the culture is a place again where where people's opinions and uh, people can speak up open and honestly um, make it a place where people want to come and work. And that transparency to the public as well. And I think that's the vision. We have to remember that the City of Lloydminster, we actually work for the people of Lloydminster. Mm -hmm. And I think to have that open line of communication is just so important and integral to the city. Now, I mean, Mulligan has been working on that open line to communication, and uh, the, we have yet to hire a, um, a public affairs officer. Do you think that's going to help? Absolutely. You especially, I guess? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, and that's the key, too. We need to develop a plan in there mm -hmm. and, and follow that plan. It, it's tough to, uh, to relay a lot of information if we don't have set plans in sight. And, and if we, we develop a plan, work that plan, I think, and if everybody's on the same page, uh, it'll be successful. What do you think some obstacles the city is facing right now that uh, that you're hoping to overcome? Well, I, th I think some of the uh, stigmatism of, of just in government as a whole, whether it's municipal or provincial, or federal, uh, you know, it's it's government mm -hmm. and it's, uh, you know, different people have different expectations and uh, it, it's tough to please everybody, but mm -hmm. the residents of Lloydminster are, are a key stakeholder and the other stakeholder groups, uh, and there's so many in Lloydminster, Lloydminster is, a, is a, an incredible place, uh, not just with our businesses, our nonprofit groups, um, and our citizens, our volunteer organizations. I think you know the input from them, uh, all three entities, along with the city and working in cooperation, will make it just a great place. Now you have a background in uh, Alberta politics. How do you think you're going to handle the Saskatchewan side of politics as well? Well, I've, I've been involved in, in both. I've been involved right. with Saskatchewan uh, for as well and and being with uh, the Alberta government we worked in collaboration with Saskatchewan government several times so I don't see it as a big issue there at all. <laughs> We're running out of time here but just if you could answer one last question where sure. do you see Lloydminster in 10-20 years? 10-20 years mm -hmm. I, I see the growth in the city I see it as a place where um, people don't uh, don't stop over to Lloydminster it's an actually a destination where people come to live and to visit as well and it's uh, you know, we just need to expand upon what a great place Lloydminster is. Excellent. Thanks so much for coming on the show today. Well, it's been a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks for having me. I'm sure it's not the last time we'll hear from you as well. <laughs> Perfect. Great. Thanks <laughs> for having me. This has been our me. conversation with Glenn Carroll, the new city manager and chief administrative officer for the city of Lloydminster. Your top news headlines are after the break.